Well, the truck's loaded. I think Chris is going to go with me. It's beautiful right now, but there's a big butt here. That baby right there is supposed to come this afternoon after three. While I was setting up, I mean, while I was loading up, a lady called me and says, I got a bag of knives I need to bring over to you, Max. I said, okay, I'm going to a farmer's market. Bring them over and I'll work on them. Well, there they are. A whole set of hankles. Long chef, serrated, slicer, boner, tomato, utility, two pairs, pair of scissors, and this taquito. A ceramic knife, which I do not do. I have tried to do them in the past and they wore out every diamond paddle I had on my wicked edge. I bought some diamond belts. They were like $25, $30 a piece. Wore those out. I do not do these anymore. You have to send them back to the factory or throw them in a the trash can. But I can tell you one thing. When they're first, when they're new and when they're sharp, Man, they're like a razor. That's a nice knife. But it's duller than my rear end right now. That's where it's going to stay, too. Okay, I'll get back to you when I get to the market. Not many vendors today. I guess they're scared of the weather. Got three, four over there. Me and the vegetable man right here. The honey bee lady right there. And I can't tell who that is over there. But it's early yet. I'm working on those knives that I picked up. I mean, the lady dropped off at my house. My leader's here somewhere walking around observing. I'll get back to you. They're all set up. Vegetable guy, seafood. Something. Popsicle lady. Soap. Flowers. Cheese. Hey. Desserts to die for. Bow wow meow. Doggy treats. And I don't know who's next to her. Oh, the full quiver of chicken, sausage, and etc. people. And full quiver. Sweet potatoes and, right. and uh, eight, not acorns, what do you call them? Uh, dandelion greens. I don't even think I'm having any of them. Hak choy. Beets. Mustard greens. Look at that. Look at them fat strawberries. Ooh, I might have to go home with some of them. How much are you getting for the strawberries today? Oh, we'll just do four dollars. Four dollars a, a load, four. you mean? Yep. Four. Okay. Strawberries are four dollars. You want to get some? A spare guy. Let's go see what the full quiver of people. We stop short and go and go over there. I don't see the grill today. I don't even smell the grill. They got the baby grill. That's what it is. Oh, pro, this is a new grill, huh? Small one. Small one. I got you. How you been doing? Nippers. I did a pocket knife for that lady over there. Now I got a paper cutting blade. I got my clamp here in a minute. A little uh, dark.
stock looking. But the market's going along pretty good. Yeah. Hello. I showed you the nippers. I did a paper cut. I showed you that too, though. The one pocket knife. Yes, ma'am. Yes. You got some knives? Okay. Let's see what you got there. Oh, you got a bag of knives. Well, I wrapped it by Chicago cutleries and a riding, riding a ratkin. I forgot what I call it, but that's, you know what it is. An old taquito. He's old too, the lady said. Mother Nature has uh, got us. It's raining like hell. <laughs> Got us four hangles. Relatively new ones. I'm brawlers out. Well, that shower is over with. And I got a trademark stainless Germany. Uh, 6363 Puma Sea Hunter. A nice knife right here. Fine, ever sharp, serrated, easy cut fish skinner. That's the first time I've ever seen one of these. Saw for backbones and fins. Broad. Rest for thumb. Pretty cool. Well, we had a run for our lives. Big thunderstorm, lightning, blowing. My God, you couldn't believe how bad it was. But now it's almost nice. But everybody's packing up. Gone. Stand by. We got 15 minutes. Some lady with one pair of scissors said she'd be back at 5 o'clock. So we're going to hang around here a minute or two. Just sitting in the truck. Had two customers come right up with knives. I don't know how many they had. I told them we were closing up. Nothing I could do about it. I just follow instructions. Five o'clock traffic. I knew I was a rocket scientist. See, I could have gone another way and avoided all this. But I got close to the expressway and the traffic was moving good. I said, well, man, let's get on the expressway and zip on home. Man, we're zipping on it. <laughs> 23. And stops. I hate traffic. Are you guys starving to death? Somebody's cut your throat? You haven't eaten in weeks? That's what it sounds like, all that squawking. <laughs> hey, no wing crow. No wing crow. It's only five after five forty three. You can't be starving, my poor boy. Mumbles man went for two spins today, he said. He went on the bay over here by me, then he went over by the pier. Crappy said in one jump ring. Two spins a day, put in at Lee Avenue, went almost to the buoy, back to your place and back to the pier. Bulldozers at the buoy. It was a waste of time. I got a lot of exercise. Bummer. Chris had to buy some of that honey. She says it's really pure, natural, as it says, new honey. What's up? What's up, guys and girls? What are y'all doing? Nah. It's too nasty to go outside. Don't let rain. Good gracious. The only water over here. As you can see, I guess you can see, all the streets are flooded. 
I don't mean the streets, but all the driveways and any low spots. There's tons of water over here. And more coming. Chris also had to have some of them big fat strawberries. Oh, well, they look delicious. Mmm. I like them. Just right for my diet. You don't want no strawberry. <laughs> You do want one, don't you? But you wouldn't like it. No.